Tell the court how Lieutenant Mannion described the trouble his wife had with Barney Quill. He told us that Quill had raped his wife. Now, can you recall generally what Lieutenant Mannion told you about this rape? Yes, sir. He said he'd been asleep since right after dinner. He was waked up by some noise, screams, he thought. But he got up, opened the trailer door, and went outside. His wife came running out of the dark and fell into his arms. As you saw his wife in the trailer. How'd she look? She was a little hysterical. She'd been pretty badly beaten up. She had big black bruises over her face and her arms. Now, did Mr. Mannion tell you about this rape and beating? She did. And did she take you to the place where it had happened? Yes, sir, the next morning. And did you find anything there, any sort of evidence pertaining to the story that Miss Mannion had told you? On the lane in the woods, we found some tire tracks and some dog tracks. And a leather case with some horn-rimmed glasses inside. We also looked for a certain undergarment of Mrs. Mannion's, but we didn't find it. Will the attorneys for both sides approach the bench, please? Mr. Bigler, you finally got your rape into the case. And I think all the details should now be made clear to the jury. Do you agree, Mr. Ludwig? Absolutely. What exactly was the undergarment just referred to? Panties, Your Honor. Do you expect this subject to come up again? Yes, sir. There's a certain light connotation attached to the word panties. Can we find another name for them? I never heard my wife call them anything else. Mr. Bigler? Oh, I'm a bachelor, Your Honor. That's a great help. Mr. Dancer? I was overseas during the war, Your Honor. I, I learned a French word. I'm afraid that might be slightly suggestive. Most French words are. All right, gentlemen. Back to your places. For the benefit of the jury, but more especially for the spectators, the undergarment referred to in the testimony was, to be exact, Mrs. Mannion's panties. <laughs> I wanted you to get your snickering over and done with. This pair of panties will be mentioned again in the course of this trial. And when it happens, there will not be one laugh, one snicker, one giggle, or even one smirk in my courtroom. There isn't anything comic about a pair of panties which figure in the violent death of one man and the possible incarceration of another. <laughs>